Hey guys, welcome to part five of this learning D3 series. In the last video, we went over SVG. I showed you how to draw simple shapes in just regular SVG as well as with D3. And in this video, we're gonna create another simple bar chart, except we're gonna use SVG for the bars instead of using just a CSS background included in the data. So this chart will be a step up from the last one we built and then the one after this will be a step up from this one. So I'm just kind of tr trying to just very slowly show you how everything works and um, you know how we can build a real chart. All right, so what we're gonna do is define the data. So this is just gonna be an array of numbers. So let's just call this, uh, I don't know, we'll just say my data. And this could be anything at all, really. Um, the numbers, they don't really matter. This could be sales, this could be um, population, anything at all, really. All right, so we'll say 320, uh, 440, and 500. All right, so that's our data. Now we're gonna set a few variables up here, a few values. Uh, let's set our height to 400. Uh, actually, you know what, we're gonna wanna set this to because we're not scaling yet, so we're gonna wanna set the height to whatever the max is of the data, okay, the highest point. So we're gonna set it to 500. All right, uh, and then we're gonna set the width. We'll also set that to 500. All right, and we wanna, we wanna set the height and in the, in the offset of the bars. All right, and we're gonna use SVG rectangles for bars. So let's create a variable called bar width. And let's set that to, uh, we'll say 35. And we'll set the bar offset to five. All right, so th those are our variables. Now we're gonna create a variable to hold the chart. Let's call this my chart. And let's set this to d3.select. And we want to select our chart element. So that has an ID of chart. And then we're going to append SVG, just like we did in the last video. And then we're going to add some attributes. Okay, so we're going to say dot width. Uh, I'm sorry, not dot width, dot adder. And then we're going to set the width to the width variable and we'll also set the height okay we'll set that to the height variable and let's set a style and we'll give this a background now this is the SVG element that we're styling all right and just like in the last video we'll just give it a light gray Obviously, you don't have to add a, a, a background to the SVG element itself. Um, now, what we're going to do is use a select all, and we're going to select all rectangles. All right, so uh, we're going to say select all, and we're going to pass in the rect element. All right, now this is where we want to bind the data. So we're going to say dot data, and we're going to pass in uh, my data. All right, and now uh, let's see where are we now. What we want to do is we want to use dot enter, just like we did in I think it was the first video where I showed you how to use the enter and exit. So we're going to say enter dot append, and we want to put in here rect. And then we can style, let's say fill. So this is gonna be the color of the actual bars in the chart. I'll just set that to light green. Then actually, you know what, let me open this a little bit. So data, enter, append, rect. All right, and now what we're gonna do is the the width of the actual bars. So we're gonna say adder, and we're gonna set the width, let's say 
let's set that to the bar width variable. All right, and then we're going to do the height. Okay, height. And this here, we're going to say function. And we're going to pass in the data, and we're going to return D. All right, so that's going to set the height to whatever uh, whatever that piece of data is. All right. Now, since we're not using a scale, it's going to be direct pixels. So, for instance, 440 is going to be 440 pixels high. All right. Until we do the scaling, which we'll probably do in the next video, uh, that's how it's going to be. All right. So that's why I said that you want to set the height to your um, of the SVG element to the highest point you have here. Because if I set this to 400, then this is going to just stop at 400 because that's as high as the chart goes. All right. So uh, next thing, uh, we're going to add the x attribute, and that we're going to set to function, and what we're going to do here is pass in the data and an index. And then we're going to return. We want to return the index times the bar width plus the bar offset. So bar width plus bar offset. All right, and let's see. Put a semicolon right there. And then we also want the Y value. So attribute y, which is also a function, and we're going to pass in data. And what we're going to do here is we're going to return the height variable minus whatever that uh, data is. All right. So I think that should do it. So let's give that a save and give this a reload. And there we go. Okay. So we have a chart that's representing this data. Now, you'll notice that the, the actual SVG, the chart, is a lot longer than the data spans. So we could just keep adding data here. Uh, let's say 320. It doesn't have to be in any particular order at all. We'll say 50. Okay, and then if we reload, that's going to get added. All right. Now, obviously, this is this is a problem having this be. Uh, such a static width because if we go past if we add enough data here to go past this point it's not going to be shown all right so same thing going the other way if we put something in here let's say uh, this is going to be 720 okay if we go ahead and reload this is the 720 but it looks just like the 500 because this is only 500 high all right so we need to scale this both horizontally and vertically so that we can actually show the real data. All right, and that's what we'll do next.